Hello everyone, welcome to the 31st tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to Revit. In this video, we'll, we will be doing model collaboration. Model collaboration is an option that Revit has that enables users to use one model. In short, plenty of people will be working on in one model. Of course, if you're doing a really big project in different disciplines, Obviously, there will be plenty of people doing that. How do we do that? First, we gotta go to manage, I'm sorry, to collaborate. And here, you will see this option here that enables collaboration so team members can work on a model simultaneously. So, let's go ahead and click that. Now here, you've got two choices, within network, in the cloud. So, I'll be using within network for this time Give it a moment. Now that once it's done, unfortunately, you won't be receiving any notification or a pop-up. Apart from that, what you will notice is here, the editing request is allowed. So before we go and do that, click the save option here and you will get this notification. So since this is our first time, we will now be making this model as the central model. So go ahead and click yes. Once that is done, you will notice here a new button available for us. So now, once the model has become a central model and collaboration is allowed, or rather collaboration is enabled, you will no longer be using the save button here. Instead, we will be using synchronization, which is this one. So either we use synchronize now or modify settings. So let's use synchronize and modify settings for now. Here, you will see this is now the link where our Revit model will be. So I usually just compact it every time, but it will be slower. Compared to saving normally and synchronizing, synchronize will be a lot slower. So now let's press OK, and you will notice that the loading will begin. Now let's try the other one, which is synchronize now. So when you click this, there will no longer be an option that's going to appear. So Go ahead and click that. Now, once your model is a synchronized model or a central model, new options will happen. So go ahead and go ahead and close your Revit together with the model and re reopen it again. Now, upon reopening Revit, you will notice that our Revit tutorial here has a new icon here in the lower left corner, meaning this is now a central model. And what if I click this? It will give us an option saying that opening this will open the central model itself. So we are no longer capable of opening here. So to do that, just press cancel and we will open the model directly from here, this button right here, and look for the location to where it was. So mine was in desktop and in a certain folder there. and this one now click it you will notice some new options for us create new local and detach from central central sorry for now we will click create new local and just click open here you will notice that it's saying an option for us now if you press override it will not be using any backup so the smart Action here is always append timestamp to existing copy so that whenever you save or open, it will have a backup ready for us in case we do a mistake. So go ahead and click your append timestamp to existing copy. And that's it. That's how you collaborate a model. But before we end the tutorial, I want to show something first. If you try to make a new action or rather a new element, for example, I will make a wall here and I save or rather I didn't save. If I press close here, you will notice that it has a new option telling us what to do. So if you want the save that we did or let's say we didn't want it, go to manage, sorry, collaborate, click relinquish all of mine. 
sorry let's save it first then click relinquish all of mine so that all our ownership for any elements that we did will not be changed okay so just go ahead and click that and that's it you're done so if you find the tutorial helpful or even interesting at all you can support me by liking and subscribing i will see you in the next video thank you very much guys Thank you.